How's it going everyone? Doc here with Eyes Wide Shot Gaming, and today we will be doing a breakdown of a brand new game that's coming out on the 18th of April called Skur Ritual. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as we are so close on our endeavor to 1000 subscribers. Why not join us today on our adventure? Skur Ritual, translated from Danish to Happens Ritual, or perhaps the reverse, Ritual Happens, is not a direct sequel but an FPS spin-off from the award-winning British indie horror game Made of Skur. Before we dive into the breakdown, let's take a quick look at the trailer for Skur Ritual. Skur Ritual is an old-school, round-based FPS action game which story continues from Made of Skur, Evil, ending. Play solo or with a team of up to four players online to get through this amazing story. Developed and published by Wales Interactive, Skur Ritual will be available on PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, S, and PC on April 18th. Skur Ritual consists of an intense, round-based zombie horror shooter game style where along the way you have to complete certain milestones in each mission. There are five different difficulties ranging from beginner all the way to nightmare. This HP Lovecraft and Stephen King love child seems to feel like a blend of the classic Call of Duty World at War zombies mixed with more modern zombie shooters which incorporate a wide range of enemies from basic units to elites. As far as we know, we are offered 65 different cosmetic headpieces, as well as 42 player icons, an assortment of 66 voice lines, 10 different songs to play as menu music, as well as 20 different menu backgrounds, all to customize your experience to the max. As you progress through the missions, you are awarded points that you can spend either purchasing a new weapon from the wall, upgrades to your speed, health, reload, and more, or even once you find Lucky the Dog, you can buy a random weapon from him. If you're the lucky one, you'll receive a weapon that is already upgraded to tier 1 or 2. Along with these awarded points, you also receive something called Miracle Points. These points allow you to customize your playstyle with 8 different Miracle Trees, each consisting of 4 tiers, and each tier breaking down to anywhere from 1 to 5 different Miracles. This is what truly incorporates a roguelite element to Skur Ritual. The gunplay is reminiscent of predominantly every single old-school shooter we know and love nostalgically, and the gameplay itself is smooth with a comfortable breakdown of what to do and where to go during each mission. Are there jump scares? Not that we have seen, but we wouldn't put it past Wales Interactive to not omit them from the game. As we engage what look to be cultist zombies, some of which have elemental abilities and others are your basic foot soldiers, we find notes to give us clues that we piece together for the whole story of what's going on. Once we get to a certain point in the game, we begin to encounter elites such as Abraham and the Sword. These elites look like Slenderman if he was part of the cast of Peaky Blinders, but with our trusty weapons by our side, we know we will be okay. Throughout the mission, the deeper we go, the more unsettling and spooky the story gets from ritual sites stained with blood to laboratories shooting electric sparks to give us a sense of human experimentation being done. Skur Ritual is filled with nostalgic aspects from a mystery box, which is Lucky the Dog, to a pack punch type machine, bringing us back a decade or so to those knights filled slaying zombies with our backs against the wall and our friends by our side. Overall, this is an absolutely fantastic, round-based, zombie-esque shooter that can entice a huge demographic of players who miss the old Call of Duty zombies and want a little extra with it. So far, from our 10 hours of gameplay through the demo, we can comfortably say this ominously eerie game will hold its own in the genre and perhaps grow even more into something greater. Stay tuned for more videos covering everything from strategies per mission to builds that can help you survive nightmare difficulty.
If you'd like to see a 5 minute cut of our experience during the demo, stay tuned after the outro. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and until next time, so long.